Hey, Sammy. So what you're seeing now are video clips taken from spring of 2016. So this is spring break, March. And I've always had this footage lying around and never really knew what to do with it. I thought I would become this YouTube vlogger. Honestly, that's just something I'm not going to do. But I do want to start something. I always have a little hope that we'll end up in the same city. I know you're in Paris and I'm in Boston, but if it ever did work out, possibly both of us living in whatever city, I always think about New York. And do you know why I don't like New York? There's no familiarity. It's so hard to find just open public spaces. And just walking in it is just so stressful. <laughs> but if we actually did end up living in New York, we would probably live in a really cramped apartment somewhere nice and have that commute, that horrible commute to Midtown. Maybe a dog, maybe some carpet. And on the weekends, we could always go to the museums, art galleries, visit your sister working. And it feels like every experience in New York must be paid for. If you want to experience the aesthetic of marble tables at a cafe, you have to put down money. Or even if you want to go to a gallery, you got to put money down there too. But still, like, I talked to a couple kids from our classes, advertising kids, film kids, whatever kids, and they all love New York. I mean, I get it. It's appealing. I was once starry-eyed too in high school, and I that's why I moved there, but I don't know. It's not always great to be in a city of 8 million people without having any foundation first. I just can't imagine living in a city like New York without a strong friend group or some sort of partner or companion with me. I personally know girls our age that are either married or engaged. Girls our age. And it's weird, right? It's we're in our early 20s and how can you make a commitment like that with so many factors like do you even know yourself that well do you know the other person well you know people change and are you like prepared to go through those changes with a person i've seen a lot of things on social media recently just people posting on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, people I don't even know who have their unit already set up. And it's always nice to have a team, husband, wife, spouse, team. I mean, there's no children yet in the picture, but it's always a nice thing. Okay, honestly, everybody has an ego and we don't want to do something we don't want to do and that's why i like relationships it's the challenge like we barely have patience for ourselves like we beat ourselves up over just the smallest things like oh my god i made such a stupid mistake and then we start putting those expectations on our partners and honestly it's the moment where you let that go and when you start just being more compassionate i think that's the only thing just being patient being kind and also receiving that it's so great <laughs> but when i look at friends other women who are committing to relationships it seems that 
they're not so sure about who they are themselves yet or they haven't even been alone yet <laughs> so honestly when people keep asking me megan do you have a boyfriend oh are you seeing anybody i'm really happy to say no but i also believe that a relationship can teach you things that you can't learn on your own like dealing with another human being is so it's another challenge in itself i know you and philippe are doing so well and i see you installing new furniture and it's so good and i know you guys are good together but for me right now it's mainly getting into my own routine coming back home and just motivating myself and i enjoy the solidarity but it's always good to hear from you every once in a while Love you, Sammy. Talk soon.